What is up guys, I am Jordan or JKU390, and we are back, and now we're playing on the training difficulty, and we're, I, I know how to play this now, I had a bit of a failure, but I'm, I'm back, I'm ready to win, or at least do better than last time, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So now I realize rather than stealing stuff, you just click this, and you learn something about the people. So now I know that guy that I need to learn about likes to gamble. Now I need to install, install cameras in his place. But actually, I want to see if he has anything else in here worth, you know, taking a peek at first. Apparently not that. What about in his chair? Does he hide stuff in his chair? New. No. I think this is where that bottle was, right? Yep. So you could have a dangerous weapon. Or a drinking problem. Or both. Probably. Probably probably the drinking problem, but potentially both. Alright. Let's put a camera up in the... I need to get him, don't I? Yes, I do. should be fine for now. What is this? Alright, so as a... Yeah, so don't make political propaganda. And that's just, I guess, telling me that I, I did a great job of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So good, in fact, that they're going to give me a totally sweet promotion. I know it didn't say that where you could read it, but it was part of the subtext. It was, it was hidden within the text. It's just one of those things you learn to look for. Hidden compliments where there are none. Sometimes that's all you get. Alright. I did everything that they wanted. Now I have to call the ministry. Dial the number. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded... $500, oh yeah, and 50 reputation points. No resources, he's violating a state directive. Alright, so we'll spy on him. We just have to find something illegal that he's in fact doing. Ooh, newspaper. A new newspaper. Oh god. Son of the Miners Trade Union leader was found unconscious after a criminal reportedly pumped him, what? Pumped him full of drugs. He's been treating for rehabil- uh, okay, so... <sighs> Don't spread drugs. That's what they're saying. Sorry, I was still confused by that bad Spider-Man cosplay. Alright, so is that- is that guy- now that he's back, is that the guy that- What's happening in here? Oh. Is he making, like, um, drugs, or is he the guy that killed him? There's a lot going on down here. And those sounds are very questionable. Learn about what happened. Who lives in apartment 2, Carl? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so we can't talk about him. He's right there. I left him alone in the kitchen, and he told me many things. Tried to paw... What? Kind face that makes you believe he could do anything. What if he's at Martha's? She's out playing near the porch. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want that guy out. He's trying to mess with my daughter. He should definitely be after the sun. No, don't talk to him anymore. He's still dressed like a criminal. Tell me what happened. Uh oh, he, he swore at me. He decided I was standing near his door, tying my shoes near the flower. Said he'd blow my head off if he ever saw me near his door again. Oh man, we're gonna kill the f out of that guy. Seriously, why is the why is the little girl sleeping at whatever time it is? Oh, there she is. She's up. 
I want to see her account on what happened. No, I'm not going to play. Learn what happened. He pushed you? What? We're going to kick the crap out of that guy. We're not going to get him arrested. We're just going to kick the crap out of him. Okay, nothing to learn about them there. Where is he? There he is. He's going to the house. We'll make our way up there. We have to gather all that sweet evidence on him. Do a little, do a little peek in his house. Ah, yes, he's talking to lightning. He's doing the drugs. We have it. We have the evidence. He's making drugs. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, I guess I write a report. That makes the most sense here. Okay, he is him. Apartment number two, they said. Um, directive number, yeah, uh, I, okay, from, well, I guess from that, that's the only option, ah, here's the directives, directive 6038, send, I think I did it. I thought I did it. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, I did report him. Excellent. I guess. Where's it? I did report him. This guy? In that place. Doing this stuff? On this day. Is that... Incorrect data? Um, six zero not three nine on the first. That should be right. Ooh, something's happened. <gasps> cool. I guess I messed something up last time. Which I'm kind of calling BS on. He's got a gun? Maybe we should take him in. Oh, he's being hit by a newspaper. Oh, no, it's a boring police baton. So what was that guy going to do with the gun? Because that kind of caught my attention. Yes, don't mind me, ma'am. I wasn't trying to peek through your door. I was, uh, inspecting the wood to make sure it was in top-notch condition. He's cleaning his gun. If guns ever become illegal, that guy's gonna protect me. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, mm. I'm gonna go get my camera back. Okay, no, I'm not. Oh, there I go. A new directive. It is illegal to read or own books by Paul Williams. Okay, I'm outside now.
The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. Ago. His writings described obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all its forms. Okay. That's fair. So did I get that camera back or no? Repair to room two and find a tenant for it. Okay. Repair. Nice. Move in. We'll rent a cuddy for a couple of weeks. Okay. And the other one. A famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental guaranteed to be a decent, decent tenant. Gee, which one do I want? The guy that's going to be here for a little bit? Or the nice guy who's also a cardio surgeon who wants to live here for a very long time? Gives me more chance to find a way to get him kicked out. I'll pick that one. You are welcome, sir. Who I'm not able to find. I'm guessing is on that bus, though. Oh, there you are. I see. He can't yet speak to me. Oh, I need to call the ministry. Well, let me talk to this this fine gentleman first. Okay, no, I won't. Tricked you. Haha. -ha. To the phone. <laughs> Dial the number. Report a task. Mr. Reporter, congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. A thousand money and 250 reputation. Nice. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying. Do you understand? Yeah, I got you. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenants. Opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. Okay. Trust and care? 40 hour? What is... What? I haven't been paying much attention to my family lately. I should talk with them. Okay. Easy. Yes, father. Uh, do you need anything? Issues, father. What do you want? Economic classes have started, and we're given a list of books to read. The book I need for school? Oh no. Don't tell me. I stopped by the bookstore, and they don't have these books. I, I heard I could get them um, used to the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. You talk to wise people. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Okay. So I don't actually have to get them. I just, oh, I do have to. Crap. Domestic problems. Uh-oh. I need your help, honey. I can find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? No, well, that's stupid. Don't even think of this. You must have left it in our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about a saucepan? I hope they won't reject the man the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and... Okay, so, so yeah, she needs a saucepan. They're giving me busy work right now. That's what's happening. You, I need to meet you still. Hello. Meet. I am here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Aloysius Spack, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. Uh, of course I heard. Please don't praise me. I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Eh, that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. I like this guy. I mean, he seems a little... Uh, I wouldn't say egotistical, but I definitely wouldn't say humble. How's it going? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Okay, a little egotistical. That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I can cure even a healthy man. I'd say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? 
I've dedicated my life to treating people. You, your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Just give me alcohol. Hey, no, wait, come back. I need to know about Klaus. How's the family doing? Yeah, we're great. Um, except I need to know about Klaus. Even though he literally just moved in. Okay, so he's in apartment one. Although I could have seen that anyway in the page, so I guess I don't need to memorize that, so I'm fine. So he, he smokes. But as far as I know, that's not illegal. I think she's married to him. Acquire a nice bottle of Xerxes. So yeah, he's, he's an alcoholic is what everybody's telling me.